right now is a sick to my stomach, like I literally want to throw up. transfer our stuff onto a new hard drive that Peter got. Um, we are seeing my family in a couple of days here um, when we have a layover um, before we head down to South America. Well, I'll let Peter explain the rest. Apparently there's some sort of error on Lisa's hard drive. So what could possibly happen is all of my India videos are just not gonna be here. There's more than that though. I'm literally sick right now. And I hope when you're seeing this that you've already seen the India videos because it was able to repair it. But if you're not able to see the India videos, this is the moment when it all went kapooey because, well, we were trying to create a backup. Present day, Lisa here, and this has been very, painful um, to edit and it has been super hard um, revisiting this day. I have definitely cried a couple of times during this process. This day here is the reason that two and a half years later I'm still editing daily travel videos from our one year world trip. Um, this is the day when 76 days of video footage from 13 countries and all of our selfies from 330 days of travel to 57 countries, we're lost forever. But I'm getting ahead of the story. It makes no sense. Literally and there were three big folders that it was trying to copy to the new hard drive from Lisa's current hard drive. And some sort of error came up when it was copying those. It said a file from each of those folders was unable to read or write, whatever. And at that point, what happens with the transfer is it just stops all of it. So you don't know at that point what's been transferred and what hasn't. So it's better to clear the backup folder on the new hard drive and just restart the whole folder transfer again to make sure you get all the files. So that's what I did, but when I did that, for whatever reason, the deletion process like got stuck and so I had to shut the computers down. And so, and at that point I couldn't like eject the hard drives. So it makes no sense. Turn off the computer again, turn it back on, plug the Lisa's hard drive into the other port that the new hard drive was in to see if there's a port issue. Uh, that did not help. I mean, I actually kind of pulled it up it's, so I could see it in disk utility and I can get information. It can say that, hey, there's an error and it is repairable. But at that point, it couldn't fix it because it wasn't mounted. So I tried to mount the hard drive. It wouldn't mount on a Mac. So I shut off the computer, plug the, the hard drive into Lisa's computer. And that's when it said, hey, there's an error on the drive. Would you like to scan and fix? I said, yes, scan and fix. So I did that, and it's been sitting here for the last, like, hour or so. Not doing anything. I mean, as far as I can tell, it's not doing anything. So then I tried clicking cancel to see if we can cancel it. And it's not responding, it's not doing anything. What if we just try to shut the computer down? We can try it. I mean, that's what I'm I leaning towards. I think that's what's best at this point. He's been an hour and doing nothing. Yeah, it's been over an hour at this point. Peter said it could take up to three days, he saw online. Well, I was looking online, like, some people were saying it takes forever. I'm like, why in the world would it take forever? It's never taken this long before. And here's Do the see. thing. I was going to edit video this morning. Nope. But she can't right now. I literally can't. I mean, it's not that Best Buy is close, so maybe it's better to go to Best Buy. We'll be at the other guy's house late. Right, we will. Today we are leaving the family that we're staying with right now, and we are heading to a different part of the island to someone that we got connected with on couch surfing. And um, we've only used couch surfing successfully one okay. other time Here. in England. Something happened? Yep. You come back. The drama this is like continues. a 10 minute clip right now. Okay, this is ridiculous. So there's a problem repairing this drive. Oh, wait, I just so stopped up. This just happened because I clicked cancel. So oh, it finally went through, okay. obviously, and finally worked. So that's good. Okay, so good. So now that's good. We'll close. And then what we're going to do is shut off the computer. Well, if we can. All right, so we just pushed eject the hard drive. And this is the message that popped up. This is a message that pops up quite often. 
and I've already closed all the programs that are using it. All right, so we're left to do this. The light so the light's off, the light so it's off. off. And then see what's up with your computer. Oh my goodness, all right. I'll let you fix my computer. I'm gonna go make lunch. Yeah. Mac and cheese time. I haven't cleaned my computer in over a year and apparently Peter just did it and it had no 91 gigs. And look at all these broken registry items and all kinds of little odds and ends. So maybe it was my computer so, that was having an issue and then the hard drive was having an issue. They couldn't repair the drive. Oh. So I should be able to repair it now. Well, we don't want to repair it until the transfer is done though, exactly. right? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. All right, so right now you can hear some sounds this thing's making. Doesn't sound too good. Might have to take this in the Best Buy look at the drive and see what's going on. Maybe there's a mechanical issue with it. Time to see what Geek Squad can do. So right now I'm in Best Buy. They just looked at it and he said, yeah, we can't do anything here. We have shit to Kentucky. He said, yeah, it's Peter, P-E-T-E-R. All right, so what happened? Uh, I just called this other lady that's one of the top ones coming up on Google. She said, yeah, there are no labs in Hawaii. Everything's all on the mainland. She's like, ours is in Montana. Range is in price based on how big our drive is. Fortunately, ours is huge. Our four terabyte is huge. Four terabytes. So she's like, yeah, we're like 500 to 1500 dollars <gasps> cheaper than cheaper. Cheaper. All right. All right, thank you, King. Appreciate your advice and having a good time. I uh, phoned a friend and he was not confident to be able to do it, manage it, so he did advise to go ahead and go with manufacturer. He advised not to go with Best Buy, and it's nice, the manufacturer has a flat price. So this flat rate, doesn't matter how big it is, apparently, is $650. You know, not get the data. What a mess. <laughs> and All because you're just I, trying to do a backup. Yeah, 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 we exactly. We were doing a safe, look at this. <laughs> this was sitting on this. That's where it happened. Flat space. Like, we, guys, we if we had decided not to do a backup, we probably would be fine at this point. Maybe you would or maybe you wouldn't, because the bottom line is it sounds like it's simply... It was it sounds, just done? It sounds like the hard drive, because like I said, the physical... For the physical drive to suddenly stop working, that could have happened any time. Yeah. So, I mean, this is good time. If it's going to happen, it's good time for it to So happen. we can actually ship it it's at the U.S. Warranty. rate. We'll drop it off. Not fun. Not fun. Not fun at all. This is, like, possibly... It's the worst thing that could have happened at the best timing. Thankfully, I mean, we have partial backup. Yeah, we... I really wish I wouldn't have deleted the files, though, before, but, I mean, if, why yeah. would that ever happen? You wouldn't no. think that would happen. Yeah, one of the worst things that can happen on a trip when you lose it, but I am not, I'm not saying we've lost it. It can I'm, possibly I'm be recovered. Hopeful. It sounds... It's just going to be costly. Yeah. But guess what? Our footage is worth $650. That, it, true, is, it, is worth, it is worth that for us because, yeah. goodness gracious, how much I don't have edited right now. And that's what else is making me sick. I'm like, I could, if I would have known this would happen, I would have, like, yeah. not slept at all and just made sure to edit a video every day and like gotten like three hours of sleep or craziness whatever to make this work because the fact that we might not have this footage now is Scary. is kind of like ripping out my insides i already thought of backups i can do because i'm pretty creative we have peter's pictures still so we could like you same. know narrate his pictures and it'd be really lame yeah, like really lame and later in the day we went out and explored but i could make it fun quite terrible um yeah it's what time almost four o'clock Almost four o'clock this afternoon. Yeah. That's been our day. It's been our whole day up until this point. 89 to 214. I'm missing all those days. That's a whole lot of days. I will not. That's too big of a gap to do. I can't jump that far. It'll make no sense. And Christmas. We're missing Christmas in Abu Dhabi and Dubai. I, which was like one of my favorite days like in Dubai. We loved the global village. Peter's pictures. All of them just narrate it. I don't know what to do at this point. You're gonna have to wait and see. Yeah, obviously whenever this video comes out, you'll know what happened. You'll either know that we couldn't recover it, 
or we did recover it. And then you'll just see us being tormented by this. All right, so it's 5.30. We were going to head down to Nicholas's at 12.30, but you know, like 73 days of, um, of things that I do not have backed up anywhere. It's just very sickening. But we're putting that behind us right now and we're gonna go meet another really cool person. And I was so thankful for the family we got to stay with here um, on base. It was so good. It was a great spot to be to explore this part of the island. And now it's exciting to go to another part of the island. So I think like if we were to drive there, it'd be like a 40 minute drive or something like that. But with the bus, it's like a two hour drive. So um, we'll just take the bus there. Um, thankfully, Nicholas has been like super chill and we're like, sorry, we're gonna get to you sometime today. All right, it's five minute walk to the house. So I've never had it before where, maybe I have, but very few times where I literally like, am so upset by something that I literally like get sick to my stomach. These next couple of days, this was my time to like dedicate work and I was gonna get at least two videos uploaded, if not three. Now I don't even have that footage, just trying to figure out what to do next. Should I jump to day 219 and like have that all? But I don't, the thing is, I don't have any of the photos either for those. So I can edit and I can edit your photos into mine, but what I can't do is edit my Instagram with the photos that I normally put with it when I upload the video. Aren't those all in there? No. Those are separate in the photos folder. That's oh. not uploading. I thought those are all in the videos. No, those are not in the videos. So I don't have any photos of you and I together anywhere. Yeah. Which makes me even more disappointed than not being able to have like the video. Right now is a sick to my stomach. Like literally want to throw up. Um, I just hope we can get it back. And if we can't, at least we have the memories. And I just, I feel bad because I feel like I promised everybody that we would have these videos for them for one. So I feel bad. I feel like I'm breaking my promise. And two, I really wanted these videos for ourselves and for our memories. And that just stinks. And I feel bad because it happened under my watch. But there's I nothing I that you could have done differently. I'm not mad at you. I'm I'm really just upset with the situation. I, th I think um, honestly, I think they will be able to recover it. Hopefully, it's really what we're hoping and praying. But right now, it's just a major inconvenience. Just like major inconvenience because it means that I cannot upload. I don't have any of my pictures of Peter and I. To like upload even the Instagram, like I just can't do that at this point. Yeah, we're fine. We're good. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Okay. Don't look fine. Yeah, we probably don't look fine. It's because we're so upset. People, people are asking. We're no, sad. we're in like a. It's like a condo community, so she's probably like, "What are you guys doing?" We're with our backpacks. Feel <laughs> so like odd. The lesson learned here, the takeaway here, is to always have at least two copies of everything. A lot of woulda, coulda, shouldas, but we can't but go back now. It's too late for that, but the lesson learned is, yeah, just always keep two copies of all your stuff, no matter what, because you never know when this could happen. In and I have case, I have groceries on my arm right now, so that's why the camera keeps going like this, because this I case, am like, it's like a lot of weight. We were preparing for the day when this might happen by creating the second backup. <laughs> and the that's when it happened. Did it did back up from day 219 up into the present. 214, right? 214, something like that. What that means, though, is there are 76 missing days that I don't have anything for. Nothing. And that's what's really frustrating. Anyways, so my hopefully. arm's killing me. We gotta go meet Nicholas. So he's up in these condos. Super nice. So Peter just, like, asked if I were to have dumped the, the files which order I would have done. And I would have gone from most oldest to most recent, which means that then we wouldn't have like Australia, New Zealand, all of those videos. But he did the other way around. He started from the most recent. So he said, well, well, like, which would you rather not have? Like North Africa and India or like New Zealand and Australia? And I was like, that's like asking if we had kids, like which kids I wouldn't want to have. Like, <laughs> I, I can't answer that question. I, I want it all. <laughs> I just really want to try this one more time. I just really feel like we should try again. If I hear clicking, I'm going to shut down my computer right away. 
the concern is that it literally could cause damage, more damage. But if there's no clicking noises, I'm going to copy my photos first onto my computer. Because I'm just realizing how bad I think is what I'm going to miss the most is photos of Peter and I everywhere we've been. It's making noise, isn't it? It's different, isn't it? It's not horrible. It's not That's great. Not and it's not popping up that I just plugged something in. Yep. I'm stopping my computer. <laughs> I'm still hopeful for that. Somebody like, more do. professional that does this every day can hopefully do. Are you still sick to your stomach? I am. Anyways, we are here at Nicholas's. He went out for a run. Yes. I'm waving at myself in the mirror. Hello. <laughs> Very nice condo. There's like a nice like cross breeze coming in. Earlier you can see palm trees. It's dark out now. Nicholas has several pictures that he took with like, you know, GoPro, uh, his camera, drones and stuff. So it's really, really cool. And this is what we want to do when we get home is use some of our photos and maybe some screen grabs from video footage to be able to decorate the house. And you know, photos of us around the world. Oh wait, we don't have those. <laughs> so I just go ahead and fill out this form then, mailing and or getting the label that ships it or anything. The protection guy that I was talking to, John um, at Lacey. It was very good. He was explaining, he's like, yes, you know, with the clicking sound, you know, to be frank, it is possible. And he's like, it's just like, you know, on a CD, if the CD gets scratched, you know, you're losing that data. Um, on a hard drive, there are multiple places that the data could be stored, so it's possible that... He's, he was hopeful. He's like... You know, hopefully we'll be able to recover most, if not all of the data, uh, but it is possible that some, or possibly all of it, could be destroyed because of that clicking sound, too. It's the heads are beating against the discs. And that's where they get stored. So, wow, craziness. Um, Good thing is, we are in Hawaii and it's a gorgeous day. Oh, so gorgeous. You're back from the post office. <sighs> from UPS. So, dropped off the package and I have never been this nervous about shipping something before. It's packaged very nicely, but it was like super tight. He like showed it to me and I'm like, you can't close the flaps. It's like, bubbling up. He's like, oh, I can close it. And I'm like, but isn't that too tight? And he said, no, you don't want it to be loose. And so they said certified packing experts for there. A little nerve wracking. So now I'm praying and hold our breath for like a few days until we get the email back from Seagate saying, yep, we got it. Hopefully we'll hear back before we leave Hawaii. That'd be nice. You know where we're at. Oh, we'll see. great. You seem so nervous. You're making me nervous. Of course. Uh. Well, yeah, when he was packaging it up, I'm like, that's a lot of pressure on it to be put, packing it that tight. And I was like, well, you are supposed to be able to run a truck over it, so it's not that tight. I guess it should be okay. A one-ton car could go over this, and it would be fine. Supposedly. But, don't, don't, don't test it. But apparently if you try to, you know, go from one you know, hard drive and other hard drive, then it'll just completely crash. It's just like anything. They make millions of these things, most likely, or at least thousands and thousands. And some things just, there's gonna be some kind of a glitch on one every once in a while. Right now I'm still laughing about it because it's like, yes, at this point, it's like $650, like extra, they'll have to pay. It'll be but 600. if it works, great. If it doesn't work, then I will not be laughing. I like seriously can't bring myself to like yet yeah, think about like what that means. We're still very hopeful for the data recovery specialist. All right, so it got super late, super fast, but we had pizza for dinner. I love hearing the palm trees. And tomorrow we plan to check out the beaches. And I'm whispering because our host is sleeping. We'll see you in the next video. It's terrible. I'm just upset. Turning this off. If it gets to the point where they can't recover it, then you will see me sobbing. But for right now, it's just a really gut-wrenching, sickening feeling. We're holding on to hope. We're holding on to hope.